This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome to another exciting Starbound tutorial learning episode, whatever you want to call these things. So a while back, I, well a way while back, I made a video on how to get rich quick in Starbound, but a lot has changed since then so this is an update to that video because I found some some little tweaks here and there to make it even faster do the update and stuff like that because now we have mechs to get around in the asteroids and all that so without further ado let's get to it so the first part of this is like you would expect you're going to find an asteroid belt somewhere preferably two there are uh, solar systems uh, with two in it like the one you see here and you're gonna want to go to that asteroid belt and now you can enter these in any area so just travel to it and you'll see you'll get that flash that means you've actually entered a zone and then you're gonna deploy in your mech but there's a few things to think about first so we're gonna do this in the sense of your starting stuff like how can you get rich the fastest with the least amount of things so when you start out your mech is going to look similar to this here depending on what your race is but it is going to have a cannon arm and a drill arm so this drill arm is what we're gonna make use of first now ideally what you want to do is upgrade this to two drill arms because that's gonna help you mine a lot faster and maybe uh, a lot quicker for you to upgrade faster than your matter manipulator your matter manipulator will actually mine faster uh, fully upgraded than the two drill arms will from what I've been able to tell uh, the drill arms do mine fast but they're not nearly as fast as a fully upgraded manipulator so for the uh, purposes of this demonstration right now or I'm gonna use two drill arms because that's what you want to strive for first is your first upgrade if you can't get your uh, the speed of your manipulator upgraded the fastest and the the size because the size counts too uh, to this drill arm is relatively cheap it's gonna cost you 20 titanium bars that should be pretty easy to get a hold of and those can be gotten at uh, the higher threat level I think um, you want tier 3 and and above on those so any tier 3 planet or higher is going to have the titanium you need so we're here at this we're just gonna beam down real quick now I have Fulbright on for demonstration purposes so you can see how much ore you can get a hold of here so you can see that there is a ton of copper in this one we just beamed right down to this one and, and got lucky there's a ton of copper if you don't want Fulbright uh, or without Fulbright this is what you would see now you can check this by getting an ore detector and you can get this ore detector by upgrading your foraging station to the agricultural table so once you get that that's gonna help you out a lot but it is not necessary to have so you can do this and check to see how big the ore uh, deposit is so what I find the easiest to do is in your mech is just get close to it hit space bar so you stop moving and if you're gonna mine with the mech then then you just start mining with the mech and you move along and you mine all all of the stuff like so uh, if you're going to mine with your matter manipulator you're gonna use the mech to get around because it's gonna make it a lot easier than using any type of rocket spear or anything like that so you just get in your mech and you get as close to the ore as you can hit spacebar so you stop moving because that's your brakes hit E to get out and then just start mining and you can see that the matter manipulator and mines fully upgraded mines this stuff pretty quickly and depending on what it's in this is in the lava rock so it's taking just a bit more than it would if it was over here in this stuff and then you can just go around in your mech and collect it all so there is upgrades to the ability to drill there's the mech m uh, mining beam arm or whatever it's called uh, that's going to take a lot more to get to so that's why i'm not mentioning it or using it in this uh, episode this is for um basically to get stuff as quick as you can and get rich as quick as you can and then later on of course there's plenty of upgrades 
to what you can do to get rich faster but I'm trying to do this in a way that you can do it really early game so I mean the 20 titanium you need to get another drill arm is relatively easy to obtain so anyway you're just gonna go around and you're going to mine as much material and I find with these asteroids that your best option for getting around or I should say for finding them is to zoom out as far as you can so this is it zoom to and if you use a mod you can actually zoom out even further so you just want to zoom out as far as you can and then you're just gonna look for ore so here's a good example of where the ore detector will come in handy you can see that there's nothing there so I'm just gonna move along there's that little bit there that we could mine but I'm looking for big deposits because you want to maximize your time and find as big deposits as possible if you see just little little tidbits don't don't even bother because you're gonna find more but anyway so I, f I find that your best bet is to zoom out and then stay in level with where you beam down now you're gonna find some a little higher and a little lower but I find the easiest way to find them is right around about this level if you go too high or too low you can go forever without finding anything so here is another good example here is a nice little chunk that we could mine so we'll just do our ore detector and you can see that there is definitely a nice chunk there and this would be worth mining and you can do the same thing with this uh, you, you know you can use your drill arms and drill from from down below or you can just hit space and you will stay still and then you can just mine above you and you can see that that's mining pretty quickly and you can get all of that good ore so just go ahead and break all this so we can get the mech up in there and then there you go and we got it and I'm not even gonna worry about those little bits and then you just keep going and doing the same thing so you're just gonna follow this this is gonna get you a ton of copper a ton of gold and a ton of silver so in these little guys you can just kill with the drill arm they die really easy alright so we're going to go back to the ship now and pretend that we have mined a ton of copper gold and silver okay so we are back at the ship now and as you can see I have stripped myself of all of my money I am flat broke this is to show you how powerful this system uh, really is and how it works out so I just gave myself a bunch of copper silver and gold so we're gonna pretend that you know I mine for 20 30 minutes or whatever and this is what I came back with now what you want to do is you want to refine all of your copper do not refined your silver and gold and I'm going to explain why here in just a second and in my previous tutorial I told you to refine all of your silver and gold and you still can and you'll make a decent money but I did find a kind of a loop so I'm going to show you that loop here so what we want to do is we want to refine all of our copper so we're just going to refine all of that and then we'll get whatever money we get from this and it should be a pretty good chunk of change refining gets you by far the most money the quickest in the game okay so we got 4125 just from all of our copper so that's great now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna turn all of our gold and our silver into ingots okay so now we have done that and we got 250 gold ingots and 436 silver ingots that's awesome okay so now the next thing we need to do is find a way to get tons of titanium and the easiest way to do that like I said is you're just gonna go to planets that are tier 3 or above so like your bigger ocean planets for example this frozen planet here so we're gonna go to this frozen planet and here we are on the frozen planet now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Fulbright so I can show you uh, what I want to demonstrate here and this is the easiest way to go about it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna dig straight down once you're on some type of tier 3 planet and this is much easier on an ocean planet because you will get a lot further down a lot quicker because you could just swim through a pretty good chunk of it but you know this one was close by and it's in the same solar system so we're just gonna use this one as an example and you're just gonna mine down as far as you can go till right above about the lava level or so so we're down in a random fleshy biome here so you see this here we want to go right above this level this background you see this background here right above it should be right about this level so let's knock out the background and check yeah so right about here is about the the level that you want and if we go along you can see that there is a ton of deposits of titanium 
just all over the place. Lots of other ores too, but if you mine down about this far, you're gonna get lots of deposits, so you're gonna be able to get a pretty good chunk of titanium relatively fast. So that's all you gotta do is just mine down about this far, and it really helps out once again, we turn off Fulbright, if you have that, that ore detector, because now, when you're down here and it's super dark and you can't really see what's going on, you can hit that ore detector and pulse it once, and you can see that there's tons of stuff. And the titanium should always be the white color, the whitish gray color. Uh, I think silver is also the same color, so that's something to keep in mind. But, I mean, silver is fine. You can never have enough of it for what I'm showing you here as well. Anyway, you get the general idea. Mine down on tier 3 or higher and, and mine as much titanium as you can. You're only going to need a, one or two good goes at this to get you really started on this. Uh, you will have to come back for this method and mine this stuff but you won't have to mine as much so you're gonna need a hundred to start out with a hundred ore and that's gonna get you 50 titanium bars all right let's head back to the ship okay so you did your mining and you got your 50 titanium bars and you still have a ton of gold and silver and you have all of the pixels that you made from refining all of that copper you got now what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a space station once you found your space station you're gonna beam on down head on in there pop out of your mech and you are going to find the person that spell, sells the space station uh, summoning module thingamadoodles. These right here, you want the station transponders. As you can see, that's gonna cost you 50 titanium bars, 50 gold bars, and 50 silver, and 1,000 pixels. Luckily enough, we have tons of gold and silver, and because we refined all of our copper, we have plenty of pixels, and we have gotten the titanium bars. So once you've done that, you're gonna accept, you're gonna turn it in, and you're going to get one of these bad boys right here. And you can see that these sell for an insane amount. Now, if we take a look at the cost here, the cost is, you know, as I said, 50 titanium bars, 50 gold bars, 50 silver, and 1,000 pixels. Taking into account the 1,000 pixels added in, if you refine all of this stuff here, you will get 4,750 pixels. That's counting the the 1,000 pixels as well. That's the total cost of this thing. That's what it's costing you to purchase it. And look at its price. Okay, so you're saying that's great, Firespark, but how much does it sell for? Okay, let's go back to my ship because luckily enough, I have a merchant on my ship. So we're back here on the ship and I have a foundry merchant and this merchant is very important and we'll get back to why in a second. You can start off with whatever merchant you want, but you eventually want to get a hold of a foundry merchant and they're relatively easy to get. And you see here, all I have is a foundry bed and one of the heavy chairs. So anyway, we're going to talk to our, our merchant here and we're going to go over here and we're going to sell this bad boy. And you can see that it sells for 30,000 pixels. So at a cost of 4,750 pixels, you're turning that into 30,000 pixels. And you're thinking, okay, well, what if I sold those resources that it cost, uh, you know, the, the 50 gold bars, the 50 silver, and the 50 titanium? What if I just sold all those to a merchant? How much would I get for that? Well, if you sell the stuff to a merchant, you're only going to get 1,500. So refining is always your best bet. It's going to get you the most. But even by refining it, the cost of this station transponder is still only 4,750 pixels. So they were really off on their math here. So anyway, so you're gonna sell this to your merchant. Okay, that's great, that's awesome. So we sold that to our merchant. Now, here's the thing, you want this one because if you don't wanna spend a lot of time harvesting for titanium, they are much cheaper to buy titanium bars from than buying them from Ursa Minor. You see that they're 720 here and they're 800 if you buy them from Ursa Minor. However, it's 720. That's going to cost you 36,000 if you want to buy all 50 of them, which doesn't work out because then we're actually losing money and you don't want to lose money. However, you can buy half of the cost so we can buy 25 of them. Bam, that's done. Now, all we have to do is go mine a mere 50 titanium ore. So yes, you're gonna spend more, you know, you're gonna spend time mining on a planet and a lot of people, you know, don't, don't wanna go down and necessarily do that. But I'm gonna show you how easy that really is, especially once you get the ore detector. And like I said, that one is relatively easy to get. You don't have to have it, but having it makes this so much faster. So you're just gonna get your, your foraging table, you're gonna plop that down wherever, and you're gonna get the upgrades for it. It's gonna cost you 
Uh, six Dura Steel, three silicon boards, five copper, and one battery. You're going to upgrade it. That's going to get you the agricultural table. And then you want to pop on over here. And right here is your ore detector. Now, this might take you a little more to get because you're going to need five of each of the, the higher tier ores. But the copper wire and the AA battery, that's easy to get. But once again, it's not necessary to have this. You don't, you don't need it. You can mine just fine without it and find stuff. And to show you that, I'm actually going to blind mine this. So we're going to go to an ocean planet okay here we are on an ocean planet now all we're going to do is just jump down here and just let ourselves sink so this is much quicker see like this would be the normal planet that you would be digging through and now you don't have to dig through it you just sink down so we're gonna sink all the way to the bottom and then we're gonna start mining down even further so here we are at the bottom and then we're just gonna mine down and once again I have the fully upgraded uh, matter manipulator and we've already look we've already fallen on a bunch of titanium but i said i would do this blind so we're going to turn off fulbright now that i've murdered everything we'll turn off fulbright and we could just start mining so we'll just mine up all of that and right here is another bunch and then all i'm going to do is just mine straight across like this and i won't use the ore detector and we'll just mine right along of course you want to light up your area if you got torches use them but you can see we've already got 26 titanium so we only need 50 we're already halfway halfway to what we need and i mean just mining along look there's some more so we're almost there we're at 36 and of course you're, you're gonna have to fight some of this stuff i'm in admin mode i'm gonna stay in admin mode for tutorial purposes but uh you know you would kill whatever comes at you and we're just gonna mine along there we go we're at 35 continue just to mine straight like so and i highly recommend and it's it's one of the easiest things to do is just upgrade the size and the speed of your matter manipulator as soon as you possibly can you can also do this with a mech you can bring your mech onto the planet and mine with your mech if you have the both the dual mining drills that may be an option for you as well just bring your mech down here and start mining with your mech however to move your mech through the ground you do need to mine a much larger area they don't mine through the the ground nearly as easy as you do so I would uh, recommend using your mech for mining the asteroids and just you know using yourself to mine down here on the planet but you know we're pretty close we're we, one more good patch of titanium and we'll be able to go back and rinse and repeat what we have just done we'll kill this little guy because he's getting on my nerves and we're just going to continue to mine along here and we can even mine down even further if we want but this should be a pretty decent level to to find most of the larger titanium deposits and big open areas like this are always good because sometimes there's ore in the background and oh here we go we're almost there we almost got enough We'll just continue mining along here and we should we should find one soon like we're probably mining around it and that's one of the reasons I recommend using the um, the ore detector but I do realize that that's a higher tier item and may be harder to get and take some time for you to get but once you get it it's going to speed this process up so much faster nothing in there and I mean you can also use torches as well kill this little guy and just start putting torches around torches are gonna light up the area a little more it maybe help you see something you may have missed just place those. I have a really high the high level um, EPP pack on or EPP mod on whatever it's called so there's a little bit more titanium what are we at now we're almost there we're at 42 and if we just continue mining along here I'm sure we will find some relatively quickly. And like I said, just mine up and down, mine straight, however you want to mine, but you will find it. So we're at 48. We need two more. And then we'll have it. And there it is. We're at 52. Now all we have to do is get back out of here. And to do that... Uh, all you have to do is just go up 
till you get to the dirt level. Oh, here's some more titanium. Okay, so here we are. Apparently you have to make it all the way up to the water level, but then you can just teleport when you get back to a certain spot in the water level. So now we are back at the ship and we have our ore. We can come over here and we can turn that into, well, 28. So, and then all we have to do is we, I think we already bought our 25. Yep, so we already bought our 25. Now, here's the great thing about the space stations is you can rinse and repeat that quest continuously. So here we are back at the space station. I'm gonna accept her quest. I'm gonna turn it in. I'm gonna give me another one. You can see she is already ready to do the whole quest thing over again. And I have obtained, oh, maybe not because it fell on the floor. There we go. So now I have obtained the station transponder and then all we have to do is go back up, run on over to the merchant we have on our spaceship go to sell and then sell this again and there is another 30,000. So very quick and easy way to make tons, tons and tons of money. I mean, maybe not necessarily quick, but it's quick in the sense that you're not gonna make that much money faster that I know of yet. I mean, I may find a way eventually, but it's even faster and more cost effective if you find uh, solar systems that have a, an asteroid belt or two, have an ocean planet in them and a space station, I know that's asking for a lot. Don't necessarily need the ocean planet, just makes it easier, but you definitely want to do this on the tempered stars or above. So that makes it a lot easier because you're gonna have the planets that you can mine the titanium so you can pop on over to the asteroid. Does not cost you any fuel. Mine your gold, your silver, and your or copper and then hop on over to whichever planet and mine a bunch of titanium. And I recommend mining the titanium like in large bouts. Just mine a ton of it at once, get a ton of it, and then you know either use all of it for the quests or split it half and half with your foundry merchant. Some of them just spend some of the money. I mean, you're still making what 12,000 ish for those instead of 30,000. But if you want, you can actually mine the titanium, not use the the foundry merchant and make the, the full 30,000 per um, transponder that you sell. Or, you know, you can also just refine everything that you get in your refinery and make money that way as well. Okay, so I think that's gonna call it for this episode. I hope it was helpful to some of you. I, I hope it helps some of you make a, t a ton of money because I know there's a lot of you out there who always ask that question. I see it all the time on the forums. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I could not do this without all of you all and all of your support. You all are amazing people. Before I go, I wanna give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.